Hello, everyone. Phantom Lim here. <laughs> and welcome to the stream. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe it? We are live. Once again, on the internet, thank you all so much for joining me here today. Let's go. We are live once again. We are live on the internet once again. Yeah, it's loud. I put I turned it up. Sorry, I was I was getting excited. <laughs> I like turned it up extra loud. My bad. All right, we're gonna be chill. Um, yeah, do that on purpose. <laughs> Might have been too much. I apologize for that. We become a collective now. <laughs> too many J names. Why? Because of Junie and Juliana. Bronze not a J name though. Frago's not a J name. I want to say hi to everyone. Um, <laughs> we went live and Junie had all the hype in the hearts at the very beginning bonus stream hype Junie thank you so much for being here I need to turn the music down more thank you for the feedback because I'm always asking about it okay here we go nice okay thank you so much for being here Junie Braun was here too with some hearts and the hype at the beginning of the stream I appreciate it and Juliana as well thank you thank you thank you all for being here Y'all put a smile on my face. Hi to the Jays. I feel like you just said hi to Juliana um, with like all of the messages in a row. No? <laughs> uh, or Junie and Juliana are now the same person. Is this what, is that what I'm learning? Just, just Dean Drago? <laughs> are you trying to turn your name into Jays? I don't know if that really worked, Frog. I don't know if that really worked for you to be turning your name into J's like that. But maybe, what would my name be? Ooh. I would be Jam, Jam Tom Jim. That kind of works actually. Just call me Jim. But I think it would be spelled J-I-M-B. I'm not sure though. On our other server where there's like eight of us, they're all the J's. Oh, really? Is that on um, Still Alive? I'm J-Ron <laughs> in Juliana streams. Oh, really? That's hilarious. Hello, Evo. Good morning to you. Welcome in. Jam, t Jam no, it would be Jam Tom Lim, like still, still with an M2, I think. Jam Tom Jing? Wait, what? <laughs> 620 you'd be the phantom j nice nice phantom j well um evo hello how are you evo would be uh jivo <laughs> would that be jlo jlo finn we're all we're turning all of our names into j names evo you just i, I don't know if you just like got it but that's what's happening. And also, what's happening is I'm going to be joining the server. You did a lot of... Oh, Jim. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> a Jivo fin? It could work. I don't know. What kind of Jane name do you want, Evo? Okay, so we're going to be working on the Tree of Souls today. If anyone's unfamiliar with this project, this is over by the Willows, which is an area for newer players to come and settle into the server, basically. And um, our namesake Willow Tree is going to be our build of the Tree of Souls from Avatar. Jofin. I like that. Jagical. Unicorn, I see what you did there. You just switched, just switched it up. 
um, we're not ready to build this yet. I kind of, um, at the end of the last stream, actually with the help of Evo, we <laughs> were able to place it in its correct position, the armor stand that's projecting this schematic for us to build off of. Uh, we don't have any of the blocks to build this at the moment. We have to go to the shopping district and get those. Um, but right before the stream, I was breaking some of this terrain to reveal, um, you know, what blocks we needed to, to place down. And over here, there's gonna there's a little waterfall on the front. And it doesn't look like much right now because the schematic is not rendering in. Jilted Frogo. Junie, are you allegedly a J? Yeah, Junie's already a J. You were already a J. Um, so as you can see, um, there's some mud and I don't remember what this block is called. Rooted mud, rooted mangrove mud, muddy mangrove roots. I don't know. I don't know what that's called. I forget. And we need some drip leaf and stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about this too much right now. It's probably be the last thing that we do. I'm not sure. I want to focus on... We do start working on the tree. I do want to focus on the actual like tree part. I do not want to start placing these end rods today. I don't think I have that in me, but I, I might have the beginning of the tree. Okay. So that's what we have going for us today. And it's daylight and we have Junie on the server. We have Esk on the server. I'm not sure if Esk is on the server or if Esk, I mean, Esk is on the server. I'm not sure if Esk is AFK or like actively playing at the moment. Um, one of the first things that I did want to do is actually move this nether portal because this nether portal is in our way. And we do know where the nether portal is actually going to be here. It's going to be, uh, just changed a little bit to this orientation here. I'm definitely not panicking because I only have a month of summer vacation left. Meep! Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I know, but I wanted a new name, says Junie. That's fair. Do I need build caddy help? Nah, I don't think so. Not yet. Hey, Meep. You need to take a shower and act like working, says Evo. Thank you for the lurk, Evo. I do appreciate you. What are you going to do with your last month of summer vacation, Meep? Um, <laughs> so I want to move that, but... <laughs> is it the time? I don't have anything to relight it with. <laughs> uh, let's see. I might have something in here. might be yeah I think it's in here flint and steel um oh wow that's almost gone but it's not so there we go all right I'm gonna grab this obsidian I'm gonna grab this even though we could repurpose this obsidian here but I kind of want to just try to build it within the schematic at the moment I'm definitely not gonna spend the entirety of it playing just dance oh you like that game I haven't played just in I I used to be really into DDR. And I played DDR a lot. And I think it's a fun game. And I think it's actually a great exercise too. I forgot that you really are um, into that game. Me but I do remember you talking about that. This is in my way. Goodbye. I don't think it's really going to matter too much. The nether portal is going to link just fine, I'm pretty sure. Because we're just turning it. And it's not super sensitive to other portals in the area. I don't think there's any other portals nearby. There's also some supplies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where, that's where we're going to go. Um, actually, Junie <laughs> is to the mailbox. Because that's where all of our supplies is to build the tree. There's spruce wood there, right? 
Um, Newt, Newt, hello. Thank you so much for the follow. Very honored by that, and I wave to you. Welcome into the stream. My name's Phantom Limb, and we're playing on Phantom SMP, which is a long-term bedrock um, server. And um, we've been here for about a year and four months. I'd like to tell people how long we've been here. <laughs> we're working on the Tree of Souls here by the Willows. <clears throat> and uh, the nether portal for this area is like housed within the tree. And I just broke the old portal. I'm going to replace it because we actually do need to... <laughs> Well, we don't really need the portal because we're kind of close to spawn, but you know what? We need this portal to be active for other people. And just for convenience sake. Okay, we did it. That wasn't so hard. It's a little difficult because we have this um, schematic up now. So now that we were able to place in the nether portal in its correct position, I want to come over here, get rid of this armor stand, which is the item or the um what's this called entity this is the entity that's projecting the schematic for us so we're gonna get rid of that for a second so we can actually see what is real <laughs> and you can see the intersection of the old portal with the new portal hello says new new hello and a hydrate from juni if you have one of those what is it drink is it drink or sip i'm not sure what i named it if you have an emote related to drinking something put it in the chat i'm gonna take a sip of tea okay, here we go thanks juni appreciate you mm -mm -mm -mm. get rid of this portal bye thanks me what i call it okay let's see drink okay yeah there you go there you go get some torches down so you can kind of see um, what's actually here. Nice blank uh, template for us. Sometimes I exercise to my daughter's Just Dance. It's fun. Really? You don't play along? Or is that the exercise that you do? A whole shulker of spruce logs. If you need more, let me know. I want to grab another shulker for you. I'll grab another shulker for you. Okay, cool. I, I, the, the thing is, I don't think that the tree is actually that many logs by the look of it. Who knows, though? I always think that it. I don't need as many blocks as I actually do. Um, I need bones. I want some bones. Because I want some dogs. I don't actually have dogs. made a portal um tesseract tesseract is that how you say it is that a stargate thing i'm bad at judging how many blocks a project will take same i'm still a person who thinks that a stack is a lot i'm like yeah this is a stack it's gonna last me forever it doesn't last at all Dancing is fun exercise. You just copy the movements. Unless I'm thinking of a different just dance. Yeah, you just copy the movements. I feel like they... Once I got to take my sweatshirt off because I'm getting hot. <laughs> but I feel like they... They have you like hold the controller and they make you feel like... You know, that actually matters. Oh my gosh, this is so terrible. I can't watch this. I need to tame these, these wolves. It's a four-dimensional version of a cube. Oh, okay, got you. It sounded like a Stargate thing. <laughs> Alright, so now that this portal is formed, let's go to the... Um, let's go to the shopping district. Um, I think we're going to come out in the south tunnel. Is it? Loki in the Marvel movie steals a Tesseract. Okay. I didn't watch any of the um, Avengers. It's not Stargate. 
<laughs> uh. Yeah, the south tunnel. This one here, right? This one's awesome. It looks so cool. The diagonal, the di diagonality, which is totally a word. The diagonality of the eyes and the face and everything. It's perfect. It's perfect. All right, so we're gonna go to the shopping district. So people are asking about this tunnel. The north tunnel is going to be done by Tiz. Um, for inquiring minds. And um, I'm going to be doing the west tunnel. And yeah, Mel's doing the south tunnel. And Tiz did the east tunnel. I don't know why I don't watch any Marvel uh, movies. I even have... Oh no, I have the, the pack in, in installed. These armor stands are... I have to get away. Run away! Fly away! Oh, I need to take this pack off. One second. Okay, well, flying in the nether, I will log off the server. Hopefully I don't hit a chain or something when I log back in. Let's remove these packs. Or this one, at least. You can have Disney Plus, Disney Plus, Hot Star, what they call it in Asia. Oh, really? They have all the Marvel movies? I didn't realize it was Disney. Alright. Hopefully we don't die. What's up, real? Spruzy, sprussy, spruzzy? Let me know, let me know. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you for the SMP command. If you're interested in joining, you can find out more information on the Discord. But yeah, to the shopping district. We need to check our mail for supplies. Flew by two hidden eggs. Okay, because of stream delay, I'm going to assume it was in the nether. I found six eggs. The eggs look like white shulker boxes to those people who don't know. what I'm talking about. I'm never gonna find them, Junie. <laughs> this place is so large. Like, I'm... I'm going to my mailbox. <laughs> Never gonna find them. I'm gonna find all of them in like 10 years from now. Okay, so spruce logs. Thanks to Junie. Thank you, Junie. Need that. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't think we needed. 
Is this just sugar cane? This might just be sugar cane. Yeah. I forget why I asked for. I think I need a sugar cane for rocket, rocket making. How do I level up in the Discord? Um, you have to level up through chatting with people. It takes time though, um, which is the whole point of it. So it's not like an immediate thing. Um, it takes time, but um, a lot of people who are on the server and everything are people who I've met through Twitch, basically. So, you know, it's possible. It's definitely possible to join and it's free to join. It just takes some time and kind of getting to know each other and making sure we, we all vibe, you know? Because it's a long-term server and it's a it's a tight community, so. So any controls, understandable? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. Uh, this is our shopping district, though. We've been in this world here. This is our second world. We we're in the last world for about two and a half years. This world now has been about um, a year and uh, five months, a year and four months. And I don't know how you're counting. But yeah, this is our shopping district, and it also includes like an underground shopping district. Which I think I'm flying not into that area. No, I'm just flying into the back, the back caves. The these are the back caves. Wow, there's so many of them. Okay, wait, get me out of here. This is a fun like little. Uh, ah! <laughs> I landed on the block. This is a fun little uh, thing. Where's the way out? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. We got a zombie spawner here. Ah, yes. I wanted bones, actually. <laughs> How fortuitous is it that we have found bones here? Um, oh, more bones. Ha ha. Okay, I'm going to get myself a dog. I'm going to get myself a dog. I'm going to write this down, actually, because I'm going to forget. And um, I could make a little mending station here. I put that in there. Needed rockets for the anniversary fireworks show. Nice, nice. Um, am I the only one who noticed that Minecraft have um, been using a bolder version of the current fonts in like the new world creation screen? Um, maybe, me. I'm not sure. I haven't noticed that. Yeah, I'm writing it down. Negative 707, negative 3, negative 121. I'm just going on night shift uh, tomorrow night and was looking to make some new friends to play with. Maybe once I'm done my month of work, I can play. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, would love to have you on the Discord and um hang out with us it's really our our um community's like hub central hub look at nightbot posting that just in time i um i got trapped in there once and <laughs> does an escape to find you oh really I feel like it's about to happen to me now i see the light maybe where is it it's over there i don't know if that's actually the light Real sprozy, thank you for the follow. Very honored by that. And I wave to you. Yeah. If I can never make it out of here, maybe I'll be able to show you around the server someday. Aha, what is this? Something? It seems like infrastructure, but it's actually just in-game infrastructure. I think I'm stuck, actually. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in here. Mm -mm. I will survive, oh, as long as I don't fall in lava, I know I'll stay alive. This looks promising. It's a ravine that's been covered up. Get me out of here. I need to see the light of day. I feel like I'm getting closer. I have two hearts. I need to eat. I mean, drink coffee. I fell through a hole in Callum's shop far out. <laughs> you went, you went on a trip, Junie. You almost fell into that lava. That's funny. Aha! I see the, I see the sky. <laughs> Junie went on a trip in Callum's far out shop. That's funny. <laughs> fell through the floor. Wait, is that natural generation? No, that was natural generation, yeah. We... 
one of the things that I wanted for Shopping District was that it was going to be surrounded by mountains and underneath was going to be a vast cave system so we could build an underground shopping district and was fortunate enough to find a seed that had that among other things that I wanted, which is beautiful. Um, but there's so many caves that actually we had to block off a lot of caves. And by we, I mean tis. So there's also the back caves. I'm, I'm, I just named them and I'm saying back like B-A-C-K, not bat caves. It's the bat caves. Because, you know, they're the abandoned. It's the abandoned part. It was a total trip, LOL, right? There's so much underground that Tiz had to cut some of it off. Yeah, exactly. There's so much of it that's cut off. It's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Um, so I think we have enough supplies to head back because all we really needed was the spruce and I'm actually a liar because we need dark oak as well because we're using spruce for the bark um, like the actual log block and then we're using the dark oak for the details I'm pretty sure actually let's double check real quick I like logging out when I'm flying apparently back cave lore yeah like you know what we could do actually this is sparking a new idea like we could have an alternate society living in there like um some like mole people or some like i don't know like beaver people you know i mean i'm sorry i know that you're a beaver <laughs> i keep thinking that you're on the otter side i mean the other side see what i did there i love how everything is so um brightly lit and there's that one like shadow of darkness in the underground or with the um the cherry tree okay so i wanted to see here i'm not wearing beaver's clothes fur <laughs> don't tell the union that get yourself kicked out I think that's dark oak. Yeah, okay. dark oak and spruce. Yep, so I was, I was... The cherry tree? Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to see what it's like to put some of those cherry, um, the new cherry leaves on our cherry tree. But I'm not sure how those particles work, the, the leaf particles if they accumulate or like, I don't know how they work mm, I kind of want to go back to our storage system to see how many um how much dark oak we have we're running a little bit low on rockets we have plenty of diamonds to purchase more rockets right now so we're not worried about that They have their suspicions, lol. <laughs> Not only are you an otter, a beaver, but also a mole. Okay. Dark oak, dark oak. Yeah. Okay, so we have a pretty good amount, I'd say. Looks like a lot. Okay, cool. I don't think I have any dark oak. I think this is a lot of dark oak. Yes. Also, for the people who don't know, these are the eggs. Does not work with Riptide. 
Oh. <laughs> uh, make sure you wear a helmet. Make sure you wear a helmet when you want a riptide. Or, you know, at least hold a doll. The doll helps, I will say. I'll just get another one out. If it's named egg, I guess it is an egg. Right? Oh my goodness. We have a raid. Sammy Terry. Hello. Welcome into the stream. How was the rest of your stream? How was the rest of your stream? I hope you're doing mighty fine. Thank you to Purple Fluffy Snowball for the follow. Very honored by that. Yo, make sure we go show all the love over to Sammy Terry. I love that you put them at your base. Wait, what? Um, Juni put what at my base? Oh, the eggs? Okay, now I know. Context, hey. Um, thanks for coming in with the raid, Purple Fluffy. It was good, thanks um, for the Bedrock server, LOL. Hey. You're getting a taste of Bedrock Villagers, I saw. Which are always a fun time, but not really. <laughs> Although Villagers are still OP, no matter what, um... No matter what version of Minecraft, in my opinion. Alright, let's kind of load off some of this junk that we have. Villagers all suck. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Oh my goodness, what is this? Axie! <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Sammy Terry coming in with the raid. Axie is here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. Um, how was the rest of your stream, Axie? How are the villagers? <laughs> how was, um... ISV at the end. I do appreciate you. And I appreciate Lady uh, Lorax13 for the follow. Very honored by that. Welcome in to everyone who's coming in with the raid. My name's Phantom Limb. We're playing on Phantom SMP, which is a long term bedrock server. And we've been in this world for about a year and four months. And today we've been working on a custom tree that we're working on in the Willows. Two combo. Yes. I want to make sure that we go show all the love over to um, Sammy Terry and also to Axionim. Let me give you guys a shout out. If you're not al already following Sammy Terry, make sure you take a moment of your time and do so. Um, they are a wonderful human and Minecrafter and um you won't be disappointed leave them a follow thank you so much for the support sammy terry i do appreciate you Ooh, axi raid right evo and of course make sure oh wait i have to wait i have to wait a minute and 30 seconds oh wow <laughs> all right show all the love over to sammy terry <laughs> Uh, I know that was actually a thing. Okay, we're gonna give a shout out to Axionim. We need to show all the love over to Axionim as well. I love all ya. Yeah. Sammy's good people, as is Axie. Yes, Junie. Welcome back, Evo. Welcome back, Evo. Do you have coffee? We just picked up some supplies to start putting the Tree of Souls in survival. I think it's S O Evo. Although I should make it both of the <clears throat> just S O. But also there's a new um there's a new Twitch new ish Twitch uh commands slash shout out 
and then the username and it'll actually puts up like that little banner where you can like easily click on the heart which i think is a really cool addition i'm not sure why they didn't have some kind of like shout out feature before like before they added that feature like we had to rely on like what evo is using for like the nightbot but i think it's cool that they're adding those things um so let's see we had to go to the south to get to the willows um but yeah maybe people are newer to um the server this is um our nether hub here which has been one of the bigger projects that we've been working on um over the past year really proud of it you're not really bad at it evo no 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 <laughs> it's like the slash button the slash key like you know how you can do slash me in chat like this you can do this and then you can say something on twitch and it like highlights it so you would go slash uh shout out and then you would go and then it would shout them out that's like the syntax for it actually <clears throat> um but where's the willow is it here uh, the sky I know it's actually pretty close. We're all really bad at this. That's a blaze farm. Wait, where's the willows? I know how to get there from the overworld. I never go there from um, the nether, really. I should have remembered when I came back from there, though. I think it's down here, right? Whoa, that was cool. I glided through the whole thing. Right, we're gonna see where we come out here. If it's not the willows, then I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. It's near the beginning of the tunnel. Okay, well this isn't it. Why are you going to our base? Um, I'm just <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm lost. I'm gonna need such a rescue party. It it does look a little sketchy here, actually. I'm not sure what's happening. There's a bed and a crafting table, which is really all you need. You know, a little ender chest there. It looks a little cold, a little drafty um, in the in the rain. I just wanted to say hi, see what's going on over there. Look down. No, um, really? I don't know if I, if I want to. What's up, watchers? How are you? You live in the ground? Okay. Yeah, it's more over here. <laughs> they live in the caves. Okay, got it. I missed the hole. <laughs> Did I? I'm lost every time I go 50 blocks from my base. Um, me. <laughs> That's so funny. I like haven't taken the time or haven't. Yeah, I haven't like taken the time. Haven't had the time. Haven't taken the time, whatever it is to um to go and see everything like that it's the portal of the spore blossom yeah yeah <clears throat> thank you for the shout out to axionim thank you thank you make sure you take a moment of your time right now click that button and follow Axie. make sure to say hi next time he's live i would appreciate it you managed to do it you need to do the at. Aha, that's that's a secret there. So before the stream, I may or may not have had my um uh, my uh totem pop to a phantom. Um, radar. Hello, thank you so much for the first time chat and the SMP command. You can find out more information on the Discord. Let's go like this. And I'm re realizing that we do need to add the resource pack that would load the schematic for us. That would be a nice thing for us to do. The tree of souls, the tree of souls, the resource pack for the tree of souls. Have you had a party popper with your cousins? Party popper, pooper? Pooper or popper? What are we talking about? Excuse me, Phantom, your cousins won the fight? No, I told you. Oh, party popper, because it popped the, the 
totem. Got it, got it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. No, actually, sorry, it's taking me a minute. You know it's a little late for me. You had to Google it. I tried to show you. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you, Evo. <laughs> yeah, they're adding like all these new like commands and stuff all the time. It's hard to keep up with. Uh, but basically, they didn't win the fight. Me, um, you know, that's what the totem was for. He may or may not have hit a big phantom wing. It's been a while since I did anything like this. Yeah. I should have got some of this mud business. All right, let me focus on the tree. I was actually going to put some of my inventory away and then I got distracted. I forgot what I was doing. It was a whole thing. Um, but yeah, I want to focus on just the wood parts of the tree. So let me just do that. Elytra almost broke. It's fine. You're doing great, Evo. All right, let me, I think we're going to make a little chest um, just to put my grass in. Mm, I think I'm just going to focus on the the wood because I probably won't be able to finish that. And if I do, then maybe. But for now, I'm good. Appreciate it. Okay, let me get the... So the thing about this too is we're going to need to use some of these. Well, I don't need some of these blocks. I'm not sure how many, but we can make at least that many. We can actually do that many. This feels like such an expensive block. I always feel a little bit bad for using them. You know what I mean? Wouldn't it be also funny to see Fenton Brindley fall from the sky? Me? Oh, because of my uh, wings? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So now here for these, because uh, these are our detail blocks. That might be a lot, but you know what? We're going to make. Actually, wait. How do I do this? I want to make half the amount. And then. Hmm. I'm probably making too much, but. Nah. Here we are. Okay, do this, do this. Okay. Now, I think we just start placing. Oh my gosh, it's happening. <laughs> mm, what is that? It's a stair. We also need glow lichen. There's a few things that we still need. Like, see how I'm kind of lazily just building with these instead of... I guess we could use some of these where we can, where we need to. Right? What's the percentage that you lose on this conversion here? What is it? That becomes like 48, right? So you lose, is it? Is it 25%? I don't know. I don't want to do math right now. So someone help me. Do you lose 25% on that conversion? It's a quarter. Yeah, 25%. Okay, cool. Uh, Lady Lorix, thank you so much for the uh, first time chat. Appreciate you. Thank you for helping me out with math, too. 
I'm not, I feel like I can, I can do math, but sometimes, you know, my brain's just like so tired. <laughs> Yeah, I was right. You're welcome. Hey, thank you so much. Evo, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so the program that we're using to create this schematic is called Structura. And it's a, it's a, um, a tool that was developed by Raven Mad Hatter for Bedrock Edition. And if you're interested in kind of like, if you want to download it for yourself or like learn more about it, you can do exclamation point structure to learn more about it. If you want. Just offering that. Here it is. Thanks, Evo. You're awesome. We were talking on Discord a little bit. <laughs> it really grinded my gears to hear people talking about removing phantoms from the game. And I feel like it's, I don't know if it's just me, if I'm being sensitive to it, but um, do you feel like it's like on an uptick of people talking about that subject? I feel like there's an uptick about people talking about removing them from the game and it makes me worried that there's momentum about it not really worried but like i'm just kind of like really guys it's a steady discussion it's annoying to me ah why would i don't know <laughs> it bothers me it bothers me because i just i never mind i don't want to get it i don't want to get into it like too hard i don't think I want to start ranting as actually put, uh oh, removes, it grinds my gears. Yeah, it does. It's just really bothersome. They better not get rid of them. I mean, it's annoying without any use at all. I probably shouldn't have. Um, open the discussion if I didn't want to talk about it. So I'm going to say that actually they have a purpose. I think that they make sleep more of a necessity in the game just by like, yeah, just by their like mechanics, because otherwise the only reason that you would need to sleep would be to avoid like having mobs spawn in darkness on the surface right i mean why else do you need to sleep you don't really need to so it makes sleep more viable i'll say and there's other there's definitely more than that but that's one of my reasonings for liking them i don't know if people would agree with that that that's enough do you agree yeah if you take them away, you don't really need to sleep at all. Ever. Difficult for me to like the glow, the way that the glow lichen renders in this, uh, in the pack is like really weird. You agree, Evo? Okay, cool. Yay. Validation. <laughs> yes, Evo, mending makes membranes rarely useful. Yeah. And phantoms are late game, especially uselessly annoying, if not afraid of getting knocked around because armor plus wings. I was trying to think like 
to me, I feel like the most annoying mob is slime. And then magma cubes. And they just made magma cubes more useful with these frogs, you know? But before that, sorry, magma cubes, pointless. Don't tell me fire resistance potions because it could have been something else. No one is talking about removing slimes from the <laughs> or fixing the slime problem. There's a slime problem in, in Minecraft, I'm sorry to say. Might be bigger than the phantom problem. You can't sleep away slimes. I'm just saying. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the focus to another mob. That's gonna be my tactic. Slimes are annoying. Yeah. I'm just gonna use a deflection tactic. Just kidding. Um No, nah, but on but for real though, like I'd be sad if they remove phantoms. I like them. If you couldn't tell. But if they do, I'm just gonna have to make it my life's mission in Minecraft for the rest of the future. That anytime it turns night, I'm just going to start attacking people. In the name of uh, Phantoms Lost. AK Night Owl. Night, Sammy. Excuse me, pig. Should be a way to stop slime spawning other than slabbing everything. Yeah, right? There should be. Also, like, phantoms are afraid of cats, right? Get yourself a cat pet. Like, I don't know. Let's tell you people. I've said this so many times when I'm live too. Rest your head in a bed for like a second. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Good night, y'all. Um, I have to make dinner now. Good night, cemetery. Hope you enjoy your dinner. Thank you so much um, for the support again. And thank you for the raid. Make sure we go show all the support over to Sammy Terry. If you haven't already done so, please leave them a follow. Say hello next time they're live. A lot of people think they should be an end mod mob. I think if they put them in the end, that would be cool, but I don't think they should take them out of the overworld. They could be another mob that is like multi-dimensional. Like for instance, maybe they belong in the end, but they've somehow made it to the overworld and that's why they burn in the daylight though. But in the end, there's no sun so that's why it's their natural place to live you know maybe it works in the lore instead of taking phantoms out of the game maybe we should put more phantoms in the game that i feel like that's the solution actually that's probably the way to go about this and axie was really the one that said it so I'm glad we're on the same page at least. Me and Axie both want more phantoms in the game. So you also want to remove mending from Elytra to make the membrane more viable? That was an idea that Evo had. Although I think that would cause um outrage in the community. They'd be like, what? Can't do that. 100% agree. Yeah. Like, you literally just said that, too. Boo. <laughs> exactly, Genie. Boo. Loudest in the community of Java plays in Java is easy mode in Minecraft. Ooh. <laughs> Not saying anything. <laughs> no create outrage with Junie, right? Who cares about the community at large? I'm going to be mad.
Shade's throne, yeah. I'm like, mm. <laughs> let's be quiet on that one. All gears and tools should break like Elytra and not 100% disappear on you. You think so? That's an interesting idea. Rideable Phantom for the win. Definitely, people want some kind of rideable flying mob, although it that seems super modded to me. They already said like they don't really want to add too many rideable, like they don't want to make mobs rideable for no reason. <clears throat> Pig and uh, camel. I mean, I guess the camel is going to be fun because two people can be on it. That's super fun. Although, I'm assuming that only one person can really drive, quote unquote, or steer the camel. I don't know how they would make a, a flying mob and not have it be like OP. That you could ride, that you could ride. Do you think that disappearing, breaking items helps balance uh, Minecraft? Actually, or no? Or you think it just punishes people who are not paying attention? <laughs> Zoning out for a moment. Or too long. On a game that makes you relaxed. <laughs> I talked about it on Discord. Do you have a few ideas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I kind of brought it. I kind of wanted to bring the conversation here. And then I was like, wait a minute. I'm just going to start ranting. Maybe have phantoms glidable like chickens in Zelda. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, that's fun. Speaking of... What's up, cuz? What's up, cuz? How are you? I will say, phantoms will make you good at your bow. I'm not saying I'm good at it, but, you know, I'm gonna get there if I keep getting these guys. Hashtag no sleep club! Disappearing into the schematic. Goes feral if they're not fed regularly. What do you have to feed them? I feel like they eat your brain. The unfortunate effect early game is possibly being stuck. My iron pick breaks. I don't have three iron to remake them. Yeah, but how would you repair it though if it's broken? It's still the same problem, right? If you need the iron to repair it, even if you have it, you still can't use it, right? Raw chickens. But uh, maybe not make have, um, but maybe make not having mending on it worthwhile. I don't think taking mending away from Elytra is the solution. I don't necessarily think that's the solution either. I personally don't think phantoms are a problem, but apparently the community at large kind of wants to remove them from the game or is talking about it or it's kind of like a topic of discussion. I want to talk about it too. I have something to say about this. You know? I'm gonna speak my mind about this. You do I? There's nothing wrong with them. People are just... You know. I don't even know what it is. They're being lazy when it comes to sleeping. That's it. I said it. Y'all need to sleep. That's it. End of story. Like, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Except for, I'm getting this dog. Wait. Oh no, where to put all those? Oh wait, the bones. Wait, they're over here. Get myself a dog, make myself feel better. Where is it? I'm lost. Okay, here it is. Don't be my friend. Wow, first try. Don't be jealous. So we place some spore blossoms underneath the tree. Um, just to give it that like particle effect. But yay, we have a dog. Yay! 
I'm so happy. I don't know what to name it. But he'll he'll be there for now. Don't be jealous, typical cousins. <laughs> but yeah. Now I would need, just need one more dog and then we can have all the dogs. It'd be so cool if they added dog genetics. People would like that, right? I feel like people would like different kinds of dogs. I mean, this is literally called the tails and trails, right? Like they could have gone a little bit punny with the tails too and, and added in more dogs. Just saying. You know, update's not out yet, so maybe that's a possibility. If anyone from Mojang is listening right now, because I know you might be. Just kidding. There's 8 million cat types, so only one dog. It's so silly. 8 million. That seems like an exaggeration, but it could be. I know there's a lot of uh, tropical fish types. At a bare minimum, he needs a gray wet dog. What do you mean? Just, just for like a texture change when the dog is wet? For more realism? Oh, for what you mean? Let's play some, some stuff here. We have literally no dirt. Let's get a little bit of dirt to work with. I can't jump. Okay. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Java wolf when rain down gets wet, darker gray. Oh, really? I didn't know that. That's cool. That was not real. <laughs> it was an illusion. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Dirt goes here and here. Grass goes here and here. Something goes there. Probably grass. Or break this. Ha ha! That's grass. I I don't. I think that's rooted dirt there. And I could be wrong, but I think that's rooted dirt. Oh, actually. We're in the no sleep club, so we currently are not sleeping. And that's why we have so many cousins. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have to replant this uh, wheat field when I'm done here. There's even a ton of rabbits, but just one dog. Yeah, you're so. That's so true. Um, and there's like a billion different kinds of cows. For some reason. Like, we really need that many cows. You have to go to work, but I'm here in the background. Oh, uh, sounds good, Evo. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate you being here. So nice to have you here. You can clean it up after the tree is done. Yeah, yeah, clean up the whole thing. So I'm going to be doing the... Uh, call it the waterfall and everything so it should be fine wait this is supposed to be mud muddy stuff i'm trying to fight the cousins in their natural territory what do you mean at night I'm slow right now, frog. Aerial combat? Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I was trying to... <laughs> yes, thank you. I was, I was trying to kill them with aerial combat. 
and uh you know uh as a phantom myself and you know they're trying to they're talking about removing us from the game so i gotta practice my own aerial combat because i've been i've been you know living the good life over here not having to attack people at night because my cousin's been doing it for me so i just gotta practice just in case i need to pick up the helm you know do you ever get that feeling of happiness when you find an old piece of tech you use uh, you used to use look through it and it still feels exactly like how you left it. I don't know if I've had that feeling. Well, maybe like rediscovering my first Game Boy in like my parents' attic. Maybe. No worries, frog. Brain is the same. Yeah, yeah. Need heavy context right now. I'm almost curious to see like what this looks like if we just take off the armor sand right now. I'm going to be looking forward to a phantom attacking people with a bow swooping out of the sky. Yeah, I'm not sure what my bite's going to be. It might be a sword. Watch out. It might be a sword. We're going to have multiple attacks. We'll have a ranged attack. Because we're an evolved phantom over here. You know, we got... I know phantoms just rely on their, their teeth. Their claws. But we got some other weapons at our disposal. It has a melee without landing. Wait, it has a melee without landing? Oh, it has to be melee without landing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The sword. Yeah. Every, all the attacks will be while flying. 100%. Look how much of the tree we've done. Not much. It's <laughs> uh, so funny. Yeah, some of it. You can see some of the spiral. It's cute, it's cute. A sword or a trident? Yeah, a sword or a trident for sure. Most definitely. One dot twenty one, the phantom update, improved attack, including a ranged attack and a debuff. I'm rooting for this tree. Haha, <laughs> nice. Nice pun there. Noise on there actually um yes what i do have to say that's all the time that i have to be streaming for today a little bonus stream a little shorter stream i'm gonna be trying to stream more even if it's just for an amount of time that might be this amount of time and have that be okay i'm not sure give me some feedback this is cool this is not cool um but yeah for today, though, that is all the time that I have. So we will be um, finding someone to raid. Um, hello, Newt Newt says no. First time chat. Um, bye. You know, if you want to check us out again, consider leaving a follow. One of the best ways to know when we're going to be live. Also, if you want to be part of our community, even when we aren't live, be part of our Discord. We'd love to have you over there. I'll be there for a little bit after the stream, and I'm there like every day, basically. And a lot of people are there. Uh, more streams. Okay, cool. Um, yes, yes. And um, let's see. Copy the raid message. And um, also, there's the one with the attack emotes. You can also use the attack emotes if you have them. A second. I'm generating this message for y'all. I don't have a raid too because my night bot does not have a sub to the channel so it wouldn't be able to um, post the attack emote on its own which is why I can't do that I'm going to create it myself if I can actually copy and paste this thing it's tough <laughs> okay we got it here we go. Alright. So that's the, uh, that's the raid message. If you want to copy it, if you have the emotes, let's find someone to raid. I know we might raid. Let's go say hi to Fluff. Um, they're playing on one shot, which is a one month hardcore SMP. If you die, you're out. And, uh, yeah, Fluff's a part of it. Let's go say hello to him. Um, he also owns the Trampercraft server, which I play on. 
And so, um, this hasn't gifted a sub to Nightbot yet? No. That's a bot. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go say hi to, uh, to Fluff, everyone. And, um, I'll see you in Discord. I'll see you all, um, around the internet. And in the next one, I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me. And, um, let's go say hi to Fluff. Bye, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Bye.